What is up guys? It is Matador Gaming here today with another story time for you guys. Um, I haven't done a video in a while, but um, something recently happened to me that uh, is worth sharing. It's the time that I astro projected and this literally happened like three days ago, four days ago. Now, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a backstory from this. I've been trying to astro project for those of you who don't know what astro projecting is, is basically when your spiritual self leaves your physical self not while you sleep um, but while you're uh, in deep meditation sometimes that can happen for some people it's happened spontaneously you can also do it yourself you can learn how to you can learn these techniques to make yourself astral project now let's get on with the story so i've been working on astral projection for four months now i've been close to doing it i believe but either some distraction comes along or i, I lose focus and i and i just my meditation gets ruined on one particular night, <clears throat> I decided to meditate before bed. Now, this was unusual because um, I, I, although I do meditate before bed sometimes, I had a very good and peaceful time while doing so um, on that specific night. And I didn't think too much of it. I wasn't trying to astral project that night, but I got woken up by a dream that I had previous to that. I woke up, I looked at my phone for a bit, and I put my phone down. I plug it back to the wall to charge it. And then not later after that, I have, I instantly, there's like this feeling of lifting, uh, something lifting off of myself. I felt like there was a voice telling me to look up. There's something waiting for you. Look up after the dream had happened. Now in my, I don't think, I, I think at this point I was still in my dream. I look up and as soon as I look up, I instantly and I snap out of my dream and I become, uh, it was, it's, I can't explain it to you guys. It's really hard to explain to you guys in words, but my, I felt something. It's almost as if you're sucked out of your dream and you're back in reality, you're, you're back. I was back in the bed and I feel something coming out of me, like, like being lifted out of me. And it was such a surreal feeling. It felt so liberating. It felt so free. It felt so pure of this experience. And uh, the only reason why I call it astral projection was because first, I've never felt anything like that before. Second, there's no way a dream could cause that to happen. Third, a lot of the accounts that I've read online regarding astral projection really do start out like this. And I see that my body, my spiritual body, when I talk about my body, I'm talking about my spiritual body, unless I say it's physical. Physical body just means my bed that's on the bed um, in the current time. My spiritual body is being lifted out of my physical body. Half uh, from my waist up, I'm sitting up um, in, in my spiritual body. I'm sitting up. And I hear the voice telling me again to relax and just let go. I said, you can do this, just let go. So in my previous training for this astral projection, there's this thing called the rope technique where you can grab onto the rope, visualize an imaginary rope in front of you and pull on it using your, visualizing yourself, pulling on the rope hand over hand, pulling yourself out of your physical body. Now, I did this, breathe normally. I started, I was getting a little excited, so I decided to breathe. I was breathing in and out very, uh, in my bed. I remember my, my, myself breathing. In and out, and as I'm pulling myself hand over hand, I am able to lift my the rest of my body out of my physical body. And I know, like, it's it's hard to explain it to words, guys. This is this was a very personal experience, and I'm here sharing it to you guys on this channel. Um, hopefully, you guys can um, bear with me. It's, it's I'm trying to specifically remember what happened. Um, I remember I did a voice memo about it right after I woke up, but and I'm I, I'm out of my body. And the feeling that I had, I knew it was an astral projection. I knew it, but I knew it. But at the same time, I was very kind of towards, I was kind of calm about it. As I'm being lifted out of my body, I look over and I see myself. I look behind me and I see myself sleeping on the bed. And it, it was nighttime and I was still able to see myself sleeping. After that, I tried to astro travel i try to astro travel means that when you, when you're in the astral plane and you're in astral projection you can think of anyone you want you can think of any place you want and you can end up in that specific specific place in the physical uh, world in real time 
as an astral form. I tried to do that, but I had no success. All I saw was black, blackness, darkness. So I floated down. I was, I was floating in the room, and I floated down next to my bed. And I land on the floor next to me. As I'm, as I'm kind of kneeling, because I, I, I landed very uh, kind of towards the ground, I start to try to make sense of everything. I look behind me, there's shadows. There's shadows of red, red kind of light. There's like red lighting, um, almost as if like an ambulance, like an, a siren would, would cast a shadow on the wall with the, with the red lights. I'm looking at the wall and all I see is shadows. And then I look under the door, the crack under the door, and I see uh, almost as if someone's standing there. I see two shadows, almost as, as they could be legs, almost as if there was somebody right outside the door. And the light was red. The The background light wasn't like yellowish, whitish, um, kind of like your typical house lighting. It was red. And as I'm, I'm still kneeling like this on the floor next to me, and I look and I look around, and all of a sudden the room starts spinning. Not me. Like the actual room starts spinning. Like I was in one place stationary, kneeling, while the room around me just starts spinning around and around. I became a little disoriented, and I became a little nervous. And... One thing when you're in astral projection is that you shouldn't never be you shouldn't be nervous in an astral projection because it's gonna you know you're gonna end up ending the astral projection your 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 astral body is gonna jump back into your physical body. Um, so I think that's exactly what happened after the room was spinning. I didn't know how to stop it. I didn't know how to fully control it. I didn't know how to do what I wanted to do in this new realm. Um, I the best analogy I can give you guys is kind of like how a cat would act if it was in a new environment let's say you move out let's say you move to a different house and you have your and you have your cat in a in a you know in a little cage and you bring him to the new house and you open the door the cat is most likely not going to run out and all of a sudden just start sleeping wherever wherever it feels like no the cat's going to take some time to explore its new environment it's going to look around the room it's going to analyze what's its surroundings and eventually it's going to start exploring out to uh, new areas of the of the environment. That's how I saw my astral projection that one time. I felt like I was the cat in a completely new environment, some something that I've never experienced before. And it took me it took me a little bit to kind of just look around the room. This whole astral projection ended in, in my room. I never left my room, although I kind of wanted to. Um, but this was the first and only astral projection that I've had um, recently. But if I ever do have one again, I'll let you guys know. Um, after, after the room was spinning, I got nervous and I could feel my body being f lifted again, uh, my spiritual body being lifted and back into my physical body. And as soon as that happened, as soon as my astral body or my spirit body landed in my physical body, I, f I jerked kind of as if you're falling. Remember that? You, I, I'm pretty sure you guys have felt this falling sensation when you're trying to sleep or when you're sleeping and you kind of jerk yourself as almost, uh, you know, you're falling. Um, that's kind of what happened in that experience I as soon as as soon as my spiritual body entered my physical body again I jerked and and as soon as I did that I woke up I woke up and I was I was not sleepy I was almost I was I was awake as any other person uh, throughout the day and this was this was pretty profound on my part because I've never had anything like this before happen and I'm taking it to be an astral projection the 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 details and the the story of uh, the sequence of events that happened to me in an astral projection is uh uh, typical sequences people would feel in any astral projection uh, story that I've heard. So I'm taking it to be an astral projection, but let me know what you guys think about this. Um, leave a comment if you'd like to, if you have any astral projection questions, I might be able to help you guys out. Now this is a gaming channel, but this is also a story channel, a story time channel. I like to tell my, my personal stories on this channel to kind of uh, hopefully connect with some of you and inspire you guys to uh, speak out and let me know what you, your thoughts are. Now I do have some good gameplay coming up. I just I'm I'm trying to work on it. I'm I'm busy with uh, my last weekend, my last weeks here of, of uh, uni my university. I'll be graduating in May, so I've been kind of busy. But this story, I felt like it couldn't wait. So thank you guys for listening. Please leave a comment if you liked, and if you liked, please leave a comment. Um, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care.